Irish handcrafts here in Limerick in Patrick Street. What we have is the traditional fisherman sweater, the iron sweater. And we've been uh, selling these for 40 odd years. And we've been in business uh, with the family for over 120 years. Uh, this is uh, the iron sweater. It tells the story of the person who's knit for. The honeycomb from the honeybee, the dry stone wall around the field, the rope to tie up the boat. It's the traditional fisherman sweater. This one would usually be made by a wife or a husband. We also have the other style here. This one is black natural. It comes from the black sheep. So if you're the black sheep of the family, we got your sweater. This one here is unusual in that it's got this pattern in the front. It's the, uh, in North America, it's known as the popcorn stitch. In other places, it's called the blackberry stitch. But when these sweaters were made originally in Ireland, it was known as the trinity stitch, as in the take three stitches and you make it into one. The pattern is usually knit by a mother for a son or a daughter. So they're unmarried and they have no children. They have a boat because this represents the rope to tie up the boat. And this represents the dry stone wall that you see around the field. And this suggests that they're net making and net repairing on the shore. We have a tweed mill in the family of for over 120 years out in Nina in Tipperary. My wife's family uh, make these blankets and have done for the last 120 years. These are the lamb's wool, and these are the mohair, and these are the wool. So if you want to stay warm, this is what you need. Good wool and good merino wool and good tweed.